Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the first update for the Roulette Pan Collab Round 6. This is a project created by Rebecca Morgan and Alexi and they opened it up for anyone to join. There are 50 product categories and you randomize six of those numbers and choose products based on that prompt or category. This is so much fun. This is my second time participating in this project and even though I was feeling kind of overwhelmed with all the products I was working on, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to fit one more of these projects and it ends right before my due date. So we're pushing it, but I'm really just excited to work through some more products. I do have an empty and I'm super excited about it, but I'm gonna make you wait and we're gonna go in the order that my um, prompts and products were pulled last time, but at least you know that we will be pulling another category and rolling something new in towards the end of this video. I'm hoping this is short and sweet, so let me stop rambling, let's get started. First product was from category 14. A product that you would recommend and I chose the NYX butter gloss because one this is one of the oldest lip glosses I have in my collection I wasn't working on any others it was a category like within my makeup routine I wanted to fill but it's also just one of my favorites I'm wearing it today it's a thicker gloss it has like opacity some color to it based on which color you choose but it's not sticky, super comfortable. Like I would recommend this product. It's one of those OG products that have stood the test of time for me. And everyone was like, good luck panning that girl. Yeah, I know I suck at panning stuff and I only have four months in this project, but I wanted to try it anyways. It is pretty old and has a lot of use on it over the years. So we'll see what I can do with it. But there's eight mils of product in here so worth the money. I checked a few of my other glosses and the standard is like between two and four depending on the brand, two to four mils of lip gloss. This has two to four times the amount of product that my other ones do and sometimes for a fraction of the price. So would totally recommend this. This is nowhere near empty yet and I have no way. I've heard that the packaging on these is actually clear like once you get it pretty empty but I can't see any windows yet. For category 33 something overrated I had to choose something controversial and this is the Morphe setting spray. Um, I think it's fine. The formula itself is just fine. I think what makes this special to other people is the aerosol can. However Aerosol cans are bad for the environment, which I didn't factor in when I bought this. I just was driven by the hype and made the purchase. And since I bought this, Morphe, I no longer consider Morphe to be cruelty free. So it needs to leave my collection anyways. Um, it's now seen an another month of consistent use. I have used this nine times since putting it in this project. It had seen about two months use previous to that. And it honestly feels empty. Like before you could kind of hear product jiggling around in there but I used it today and product still came out so I'm not calling this an empty but I'm honestly like maybe within a week or so sorry I keep shaking the camera because I'm shaking this I think this will be gone it really does not last a long time if I don't even do my makeup every day if you were someone that did your makeup every day and used this you would probably run out of it every six weeks and need to repurchase it and it's I just Please don't buy this. For category 48, something you've considered decluttering, MAC Brow Pencil. This is the Ing Lingering Eyebrows. I considered decluttering this because the formula is one, so dry that you can only turn it up the tiniest little nub. Like I, ha I would have to turn it up four or five times to do both brows because if you rolled it up any more than that, it would break off and like go on the floor. Also, it was too warm for my eyebrows. This is empty. After nine uses, it is gone. It won't go up anymore. This ran out with one eyebrow, like 80% done before I had my gender reveal photo shoot. 
So my eyebrows weren't even the same color. I tried my best to like go over it, but it didn't, it, it was something. <laughs> it wasn't even something I liked and then it failed on me in an important moment. So now I really don't like you, but I'm glad this is gone and that means we will be rolling in something new. Category 12, a product you bought online. I bought this off of Amazon. This is the Mother's Special Blend Skin Toning Oil. I bought this when I was pregnant with Wyatt, who is now two and a half, and I'm currently pregnant again. So I thought, why not try and finish it up? Because I kind of forgot that I owned it. I do have some lines here. I used this five times and you truly don't need that much product. I put this in because it's getting older, but also this is like the last opportunity that I would really have a need for something like this. So I was trying to finish it up, but now I'm not so sure I can um, because I only made that much progress with five uses. Five uses in a month though, like. I can step it up a little more than that, but it's not something I want to use every day because it truly is like a thicker oil. Um, it takes forever to sink in. I can't get dressed until it sinks in because it stains your clothes. Um, it's like that kind of oily oil texture, uh, which I don't love. So if it's really cold, I live in Canada, okay? It's getting cold. If I'm freezing, after stepping out of the shower, I am not putting that on my body and standing there naked for an extended period of time and freezing to death for the sake of painting a product, but I'll try my best. Category 25, a product that you would only buy on sale. I chose a Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. I only buy a lot of things when they're on sale, especially like drugstore products. If you could just wait a week or two, it will probably go on sale at one drugstore or another. Um, I really feel like there's not much excuse to pay full price for really anything, at least in my opinion. Um, I wait for the VIB sales or the weekly wows for a lot of my products from Sephora, except for my like holy grail skincare. Then if I run out, I just buy it. So I just picked this and I have used it. 10 times since the intro and before I couldn't really make a line. Now I made one, there we go, uh, slightly under where the black part of this packaging is, but there's a big air pocket right here. But if I squeeze the sides down too much, product starts squirting out. So that's just, that's where I made the line. I have a little bit less product than that. As you can see, like it's quite concave right here, but there's no product whatsoever up here in the corners and there is product on the sides up here. So we'll see if I can finish this. And lastly, category 24, a product you would always repurchase and that is the Balm Mary Lou highlighter, the Mary Luminizer. This is just a little mini. If I were to ever use this up, I would 100% be purchasing the full size. I got this in an Ipsy a very long time ago and because it's little, I wasn't reaching for it that much, but every time I use this highlighter, I am just like, wow, this really is just fantastic. There's no arguing. It's one of the, probably one of the first highlighters, I would say, at least one of the first ones that got popular besides like Mac Soft and Gentle or products like that. And it stood the test of time. Same with the NYX Butter Gloss. Like, these are just two OGs that are just so good. I love it. I've been loving using it. I've only used it five times because I do have another highlighter in a project that's ending next week. So after that, I will be focusing really hard on this. And my goal on this one is to hit pan. Now let's pull in a new category. So as I mentioned, there are 50 categories. I will try not to pull a category I've already gotten either in this round or from last round within reason. I mean, we'll, we'll just see. We'll see what the categories are. So let's randomize. That was the same number that was already up. So we have product or category six, which is one that I haven't had before. So let me open up the spreadsheet. 
Number six is an old favorite. Wow, this project is going to be full of old favorite products. I'm going to have to think on this. I need to be realistic. I have three months to pan or do something with an old favorite and I'll be right back to show you what I chose. All right, so I've chosen my old favorite. I am currently not panning a liquid lipstick and this was actually in my round five of the Roulette Pan Collab. This is the Bomb Meet Matte Hughes Liquid Lipstick in the shade Committed. And I just fell in love with this while I was attempting to pan it last time. I thought I could finish it and I got like probably nowhere close. So let's try and finish it this time. There can't be that much product left in here. And I really, like, truly love the formula of this. When this is gone, I will be repurchasing a full size. That's how much I love it. And I think that says a lot for a lipstick. The formula is just super comfortable, and I would recommend this. And I would consider this to be an old favorite. So the goal will be to use up this liquid lipstick. Wow. I am nuts. But I actually think... Let me swatch the NYX Butter Gloss. I didn't mention earlier, this is in the shade Creme Brulee. Oh yeah, I think those will layer really nicely on top of one another. So this is the liquid lipstick, and then that is the gloss. Okay, I'm really happy with my choice here. In the last round, I was like rolling in one product per update, and I think that's going to be my goal this time as well minimum like at least roll in one product per update so the next update will be november 23rd and this i think is the one that will be empty and i really don't think i can meet my goal on anything else i have no way of knowing how much product is left in this liquid lipstick but i think i'm going to need more than a month to spend on that so my goal is to have this setting spray finished before the next update so that I can roll in something new. I just feel so good about rolling in project products. I love, love, love rolling project pans. They are so motivating for me to like move one thing out and roll one thing in. It keeps things fresh, keeps things moving. So really happy with this update. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Check out the playlist that I will have linked in the description box to go show others who are doing this project some love as well. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!